What's up guys, so you guys have checked out Lego Ninjago the movie Return of the Villains part 3, the season finale, which is the the uh, the face of Zack. Now, in this episode first, the ninjas receive a letter that the police commissioner is coming to meet them. And they were like, that there has to be some big reason that the police commissioner is coming here because without any reason he can't come here. Then... He came and what happened was that <laughs> they were asking him, why are you here? And he said that because the person who sells Ninjago City for a billion dollars, I will literally throw him in Cryptarium prison. And then the ninja started to wonder, who is that person? And they were like, that Master Lloyd knows everything about the, us, that we're not bad people. And he said that, I, I'm not saying that it's either one of you. But it is someone over here. And from here, he's trying to sell Ninjago City for a billion dollars. And he, they were saying that, are you talking about Master Lloyd? He was like, no, it's not Lloyd. It's someone else. And then they said that it has to be Ronan. Because all he does is that he wants money all the time. And for now, he got a really big chance. A billion dollars. So he could probably sell Ninjago City. And then... Later on, they go to the Wu's training dojo, the Spinjitzu training dojo, and they find a blueprint of a face, and that's a 3D printed head, which is Kai's head. And that means that someone has, someone's, Zack's face matches Kai, and now he snuck into our ninja team. And all of them were saying that whoever we were thinking as Kai is not Kai, it's someone else. Then in the swamp, Kai opened the cell, where they kept Sensei Wu back in Hands of Time. And then what happened was that the, the, the Lil Nelson was that Kai is not Kai, it's someone else. And Lloyd was like, yes, now we have to accept the fact that that's true. <clears throat> then Jay and Cole were like, first we have to figure out where's real Kai. Because they said that we got a message saying that the ninja's um, day of celebration will all the ninjas will die so yeah they, they was he was saying that kai's life is in danger and then during the, the ceremony the police commissioner and all the ninjago citizens were there as soon as kai appeared up with his firepower um they what happened was that he said that I, i'm not zach he was saying that he's zach that he's zach he snuck into our ninja team with jay's face and lloyd was like that you have to stop we all know the fact and he said that if you don't believe me then look over there and then they looked and jay appeared and then zach put the eye patch on his face and said that uh, ha, ha, you guys are very smart, but he said that I should have finished you, you first, so I never should have saw this day. But he said that, don't worry, I may go to jail or may die, but I will destroy the ninjas. Now, he used the lantern and summoned the villains, but the villains made their choice that we're doing wrong by siding with you, and they betrayed him and said that we will side with the ninjas. Then... What happened was that Kai got hurt because of the lantern's powers, but Zack got surrendered, got arrested by the police commissioner, and he said that I was the one who was actually selling Ninjago City for a billion dollars, and he said that I res I brought back all the villains to destroy the ninja. He said that first of all, I'm not Zack. My name is actually Zack Walker. He said that I'm actually Jay's twin brother. He said that when we were born, they only chose Jay to keep and put me on for adoption. After that, I, when I grew up, I found where Jay was and I spied on him for a few years. Then I finally found a way what to do to get rid of the ninjas. He said that as if Yang brought back all the villains, he also brought back all the villains. Then he said that I captured Jay and put him in the cell until Kai rescued him and the truth was revealed. So the police commissioner took him to Cryptarium prison and what happened was that in the end, we saw the overlord and, and Lloyd 
Now, what does that mean? That I'm saying the Overlord will be for Sons of Garmadon Season 8 that will be coming out in 2018. I'm saving him for that and the other Lloyd also. So that's all it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and bye. See ya.